morning boys and ladies. It is day one of our road trip to car week where we're gonna be driving the 190 three and a half thousand miles to Monterey, California and back to Calgary, Alberta. Logan is joining me, Mr. Cream. Sure am. We're about to start off on our journey. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to go over the car and make sure it's all good. We're gonna find out by driving it. We have made it to, where are we? We're in Revelstoke. We're in Revelstoke, Canada. We're at McDonald's. I came to this one when I came on my last trip to Das Weekend just a few weeks ago. And here we are back again with the Evo 2, eating off the built-in table again. Mm. Food tastes better on the back of this car. How many hours do we have until we get to Vancouver? We've probably got at least like another, I want to say five or six hours until we actually get to Vancouver. Oh, that's not even that bad. No, it's not. It's all not right. bad at all. We're chilling. See you guys at Evgeny's place where I'm going to blow up his toilet. TJ, how are we doing? <sighs> Unfor no, I'm just kidding. We didn't break down. We're just taking a rest stop. <laughs> just taking a pee pee leak. And then we're going to be heading to Vancouver. We got like three hours left, right? Uh, not even. It's like two hours. Not even two hours. A little less than that. We're so close to Vancouver and yep. then we can go to bed and rest and get ready to get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to drive to Oregon and across the border. We're about, what, an hour and a half away? Yeah, about an hour and a half. Yeah, about an hour and a half away from hopefully destroying your toilet. <laughs> if you don't mind. Finally made it. How was the drive? Good. Not too bad on the car. I don't think so. <laughs> we made still, it. Still alive. I I hope it's okay. Yeah. It depends. It depends. We're, we're gonna take a shower. That's what I'm ready to do. After blowing up your toilet. <laughs> All right. Well, follow me in, I guess. All right. We made it. Finally, to Vancouver, Van City. Like lower your front end, lower your front end. I'm like, I actually drive my car a lot, and if I lower it much more than like an inch or two, I'm gonna be in trouble just trying to drive it every day. For those of you that keep commenting about that, there's your answer to it. Anyways, time to park up, have a shower, and get ready to see you guys at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning when we are heading to the United States of America. See you then. Oh my goodness, E36 lightweight. And E36. Good morning, guys. It is day two of the road trip to Monterey. We have met up with two of Evgeny's friends. Last night, we met up with Evgeny, stayed at his apartment. And one of them has an E36 lightweight tribute car, which is one of my favorite BMWs of all time. And there's a tribute right there, which is, you guys know, I love tribute replica, that kind of stuff. Because you get basically the same car for way less money. Should I build an E36 M3 GTR? Decisions to be made. We're gonna forget about that and keep going to Monterey. Yeah, California, here we come. About to go across the United States border. We've got the LTW tribute front, but the other M3 behind us. Let's see <laughs> if we make it through without being questioned or if they pull us in to question us. Well, we're inside. We made it. Let's go, USA! We're successfully into the United States of America. Freedom. We made it, and the crew is pulling up. Oh, my horn doesn't work when my car's off. I just found this out. Why Mercedes? We made it 
to Washington to pick up Evgeny's friend. Now we have, let's see how long we have to go until we get to the beach. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be five hours. For almost five hours, bro. One eternity later. Many hours later, I have arrived at the McDonald's. I'm exhausted, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I need to pee. So we're gonna go in. Also, look, we caught up with everyone else. So, the car is covered in bugs, but most of the last two hours of driving were in five kilometer an hour standstill traffic. There we go. Nice to meet you, I appreciate it. No, Very no. nice to meet you, the van you guy. One of your videos? Yeah, you'll be I, in it for a second. Mind. I don't mind. You'll be in it for a second or two. So you just How finished you guys watching the video. Him if you don't already follow him. Thank you, I appreciate that. Not a problem. We have pulled over for a quick picture spot. Look at this view. Feel like I'm in Ireland. I was actually playing Irish music in the car. <laughs> but look at the view. This is beautiful. And the car's right here. I'm gonna cross the road quick. <gasps> look at that. Look at that view. Oh my goodness. That ended quickly. The police came. <laughs> he pulled in the middle of the road. He said, you guys are not supposed to be here. Let's go. And uh, now we're leaving. So yeah, continue onwards to the beach and we will see if it rains because my wiper blade motor is kind of gone. <laughs> some seaside town in Oregon. No idea where we are. No idea how far we are from Monterey. We've got both the E36s and the Evo all made it, but we don't know where we're gonna stay tonight. So we gotta figure that out. Logan and I brought a tent, but the other guys did not bring any tents. We might find somewhere to camp. Who knows? <laughs> Idea where he is, he doesn't even know the name of the town, but he knows where to go. Sense of direction. He has a good sense of direction. We're going this way. We're I know going... that for a fact. How do you know that for a fact? My compass is telling me. What compass? Jeep. Jeep compass? Yep. Okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust a deep compass to compass me anywhere. Why not? It's almost as bad as a, a V10 M5. But at least the V10 M5 sounds good and looks good. TJ didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I think he's starting to get tired after like seven hours of driving. So he's uh, he's getting a little interesting. That's the sound of the police. Woo, woo. TJ, your shoes. Your Louis V's. They're just shoes. They're fake anyways, just like my car. Six and a half hours later. All right, TJ, where are we? We have set up camp. We have a tent going on. Um, I'll show you in the morning. I mean, we basically just we just have a tent. We're pitched on the basically off the road in it's Oregon. Side of the road and some stop. All right, see you in the morning. We have Genny walking towards our campsite. This is where we slept for the night. Sure did. This was our thirty-five, forty-dollar U.S. tent. Honestly, it was really good. It's Pretty dry. Yeah, I mean, not bad at all. Not bad at all. How was your sleep? Kind of horrible. I was sleeping with the bears. Wow. There are no <laughs> bears, and we got to lie out flat. I mean, I was pretty much flat as well, but it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> all right. We are about a cold start, the 190E, with everybody sleeping in their cars next to us. 6.42 in the morning. I feel so bad. <laughs> Mr. TJ. Let's go, man. TJ, 
Bridget, where are we? We are stopped in Oregon. We are taking pictures at 22 mile drive. I don't know what this is called, but it's like 17 mile. Yeah, we've got another five hours to go today to Redwoods, California. <laughs> then tomorrow we're gonna make the final stretch to Monterey and then car week kicks off. taking over the vlog from here we uh, were in the middle of nowhere in Oregon and we just found a pull-off and found this absolutely beautiful beautiful view check this out yeah I don't know we may we may lose we may have lost TJ he disappeared hopefully we don't have, to have cell service so hopefully the 190 didn't blow up car fire has closed the left two lanes of highway 167 Hopefully it's still okay. I guess we'll find out in a few hours. TJ, we found you. Finally, man, you guys are slow. It's, we lost you. We were like, what happens if the 198 breaks? Cause we didn't have any cell service. The power right. of Christ compels my car. Good morning guys, we are here in the Redwood Forest in California. We are about seven hours from Monterey, maybe ten, seven and a half. We're gonna hopefully arrive there before midnight, maybe around nine. That's the goal. Yeah, taking some pictures on the way. Enjoy the b-roll. Okay, we just finished the mountain road. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I dislike twisty roads until now. You know, oh my goodness, was I terrified. Just sitting passenger seat. I just am not into that kind of part niche of car culture, canyon carving. Great for the people that love this stuff, but man, it's terrifying for me. The thing I like about cars is just hanging out with the people and talking to people. But it's good that everybody has a thing that they love, like Logan. He adores this stuff. I'm loving this road. <laughs> he wants to just go full speed. These guys, they all love this stuff. I just happen to be in a group of people that love canyon carving. Anyways, we're gonna be driving along the coast now. So you can see the misty view, which is quite nice. Nice rock over there with a hole in it. And I don't know how many hours we are, but we've got a bit of a ways to go. Probably gonna take another stop or two and eventually arrive in Monterey, hopefully before or slightly after dark. cell service so I was kind of struggling a little bit to figure out where we're supposed to go but we're good we found service we're back on the right direction but we are going down this uh, interesting road are you sure this is the right direction are you sure because it doesn't look like we I mean according to the map we're going the right way okay all right back on the proper road yes Mianta. finally I trust this road they hit me if my car was red. What did you say? If my car was red, would they hit me? The bulls? Would they come at me? Are those bulls? I think they're bulls. They got big horns. I don't know. I think they're just cattle. I know they probably taste good. Yummy, yummy. We're in Ireland. We're in Ireland now. Look at the, the water there. Okay, it's 
windy, it's foggy, the Golden Gate Bridge is somewhere there, supposedly. I can't see it. Is it up there, Logan? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. It's foggy. It feels like I'm going into a rainstorm. Oh, it's windy. Crikey. Crikey. Anyways, we are making our way through San Francisco now. Can't believe we're so close to Monterey. Like, I cannot wait for tomorrow to finally get there and see all of the crazy cars. Oh, here's the Golden Gate. Oh, look, we're here. Wow, I cannot even see it. But that's it. That's what all we're gonna get. Nice. plating on it that's crazy what the heck that is crazy <laughs> oh my goodness what has he done how did he even do that <laughs> well matthew our host for the week has uh Basically sat on the side of the highway and then when I went past because he has my location he just pinned it and got up behind us. I'm so happy to be in Monterey. Like this is literally a dream to drive my car here. We've actually driven it, Logan, from Cal from Calgary. We've That's driven so this sick. car That's so with sick. no preparation, keep in mind. I was supposed to get this car checked out before I left, and my mechanic ended up not being able to do that, long story short. So we just said, alright, we're going anyways, and we just raw dogged it the whole way here. We have made it. There is in and out We've made it to California and Monterey too, not just Cali, but this is surreal. Oh my goodness. Bro, TJ Magnico. Oh. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh my God, I missed your ass. How oh, was you... Canada? <laughs> How was it, bro? How is it? What do you mean? I still live there. How are you, Owen? Pretty great, dude. It's been too long. A year? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Monterey 2024. We're back. We are back. Am I the first cool car in town? Pretty much. I gotta say, probably. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, other than that Zonda we saw. <laughs> you saw a Zonda today? Yeah. Zonda driving around. Driving yeah. around. <laughs> check it out, check it out. What? We made it to Monterey. We're here at In-N-Out. We got a bunch of boys here from Georgia. What's up? You guys know Nicholas. He does the rate my car at the car meet, so he's like, what do you rate this car out of 10? Then they say like one. Then he's like, what would you rate your own car? And they're like 10. What would you rate this car on a scale of one through 10? Hey. And what would you rate your car? This car? Correct. For what it is, 10. Do you think others would agree? People in the know, yes. This is him. This is so, the man so behind that. What would you rate your car then? Bro, okay. Engine wise, it's a zero. <laughs> but looks a wise, it's a, it's a eight. Cause it could be lower in the front. I could get better fitment. Okay. Do you think others would agree? Yeah. I like to think so, unless they're a hater, then they're gonna be like, no, it's a zero because of the engine. Yeah, I'd, because say, it's, I'd say it's a zero. This thing's kind of ugly. <laughs> Bro, anyways, thanks for watching this journey. We actually made it. Now, fun begins. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and see what car week is all about.